Welcome, our wild animals. We have a very special guest with us, actor extraordinaire Jaden Michael from Wonderstruck, which is out now. How you doing? Good, good, yeah. Guys, meet Bruno, he's a great guy. I just started to meet him, and so maybe you guys don't know who he is, but uh, yeah, he's a host on this show. We have a lot in common. We love everything Japanese. Yes, We love yes. wolves. <laughs> we care about... Animals? Plants. Animals. Yeah, yeah. Plants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're practically related. Was my dad an astronomer? Another time, okay? When it's the right time. It's never the right time. Your new movie just came out, Wonderstruck. Tell me about your experience on it. Um, maybe what separated it from other projects that you've done. Well, Wonderstruck is such an amazing piece. It's, it comes from a book called Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. And this film is just so, so incredible because it's a film that's set in two different eras, one in 1927 and one in 1977. And I play Jamie, young boy from 1977. And uh, he spends his summers with his father who works at the Museum of Natural History. And so he spends his summer discovering the Museum of Natural History in New York City and runs around. He, in fact, creates his own, like, secret room all documented with, like, his own stuff. And, you know, he spends his nights at the museum. If I knew where my dad was. I can't, I can't talk. And this is how he meets Ben, a young boy from Minnesota who becomes deaf and he helps him with his journey to find where he belongs. And Jamie, in turn, finds where he belongs and makes a friend. The bookstore, it's gone. Hey! No one knows where I am. How did you connect with Jamie, or was it hard for you to connect? Did you find any? It was fun. It was a lot of fun because our director, Todd Haynes, and he sent us a huge Dropbox folder of just films and documentaries. So we were watching about like Through Deaf Eyes, which is a documentary about deaf culture yeah, and things like absolutely. that. And then I was watching French Connection, Taxi Driver, and uh, stuff like that. Classics, yeah. But the funny thing is, he sent us these Dropbox folders to watch over these films, and most of them I had already seen. Right. Because prior, I had worked on this TV show called The Get Down with He's Baz 14. Luhrmann. He's 14. <laughs> I worked with Baz Luhrmann on The Get Down, and that too was based in 1977, in July, during Amazing the blackout. Amazing show, by the way. Thank you. So it, it's a lot of, it was a lot of fun yeah. to shoot. And so, you know, I had a little bit of knowledge about the 70s, and I did my, my own research, and so I had known a little bit. I had seen The French Connection, Midnight Cowboy, and things like that. But um, it was it was a great experience because in the get down I was playing a gangster, you know. It's very different from like a friend. How do you know my name? 